Hello, I'm The Ruckus, and welcome to GI Reviews. Last time out, we took a look at the Crimson Strike team, which was a, a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. And at the time, I told you that it was like part of this storyline that Hasbro was trying to tell between the uh, Crimson Strike team comprised of Baroness and the Crimson Twins, Tomax and Zaymot. And the uh, other part of that story, the other player in that uh, that saga, was Chuckles. And uh, I said that uh, I'll do Chuckles as soon as it comes in. I informed you guys that it was en route. And uh, as soon as I finished editing this uh, uh, the previous video of the Crimson Strike team, what was on my doorstep? Chuckles. And here we go. So I said that when I get them, I'll review them post worth, post with, excuse me. Wow. Blah. Anyway, here we are. And uh, this is a uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, so funny that uh, we uh, see this, and I actually got this after the um, the Crimson Strike team, which was a. Uh, Pulse exclusive, but it was made available after their Pulse Con, which was more or less two months after Comic Con. But it uh, doesn't matter. They all got like shipped out the same week. It's just that the Strike Team got shipped out first. And it doesn't matter. Here we are. Um, this is how it goes down. You could see the uh, packaging right there. Chuckles is looking kind of like a clown, but uh, the reason he's looking clownish is because he's actually baiting and taunting the uh, strike team. You see that right there. They don't look too happy, and that's because he's giving the peace sign. He's got that smirk, that S-H-I-T eating grin on his face, and that's because he has got their files. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the same files that... If you refer back to the Crimson Strike team review, uh, their little um, insert that you can flip, that's one side is gold bars. The other side was uh, their files classified. I'm thinking it's the same files right there. So uh, that's the other part of the story. It's, it's pretty interesting. I'm going to uh, have a good time. You know they're going to have to be displayed together. It just, it, it has to go that way. You see there's some sort of like countdown timer there on our lower left below the monitor that shows chuckles. And then there's a speaker. And uh, yeah, we've got that. There's nothing going on at the top on the side, though. We've got a whole bunch of uh, uh, connections there. And uh, looking at the other side, we see that this is number 75 in the line. There's some sort of uh, dial right here. We've got a, a like a readout uh, of, uh, you know, like voices or whatever, more dials. And uh, there's a QR code. We're not even going to talk about that. We're going to go to the back here. And what we have in the back, you see that EE, that stands for the Extensive Enterprise logo. And uh, I don't know. It looks like um, it looks like uh, Chuckles has been busy. And this is some sort of booby trap or override or something. Anyway, it's uh, pretty amusing to me. And uh, this is definitely just to, you know, strictly, we definitely to have some fun. And uh, we're going to see what uh, what's up with Chuckles. As uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, we'll get them out of packaging, but we're going to open this up and uh, then see what's happening. All right. So uh, left you for a second because I had to uh, cut the tape off, uh, figure out if it was, a, it looked like it was a slide out, like either from the top or the bottom, but no, it turns out that it's a book style so um here we have so you see what we got going on we'll look at the uh, right side first and you see uh chuckles with uh uh he's smiling but you can tell that uh, he put in work to uh succeed and uh 
he seems to have come away with it all. He's got a briefcase full of the uh, the gold. You see that behind him. He's got another briefcase in his left hand. And of course, in that right, he's holding those files. Once again, like I said, in the uh, Crimson Strike Team's uh, set, there's this insert that uh, has... Uh, a, 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 a an image of the uh, the files that are in his right hand, and then when you flip it, it's got uh, an image of uh, gold bullion, the, the uh, gold bricks, and it seems as though uh, Chuckles has come away with it all, and he's really happy with himself, despite the fact that he it appears. Um, I hope he. Let me just put it this way: I hope he gave better than he received. Yeah, I mean, I, obviously he got away. But uh, he he looks toe out the frame if you look at that uh, that head sculpt looking pretty nice. And then his rescue is uh, right behind him. So we're talking about a clean getaway uh, or maybe it isn't hit the rescue. The helicopter, the chopper is red. So that may belong to the strike team. So we don't know. It's just pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, looking at the other side, there is uh, a comic style uh storyline you follow you see what uh, what uh what chuckles had to uh endure in order to get away he's breaking through the safe he's ducking from getting shot at by uh it looks like uh it looks like uh crimson it looks like they're crimson uh Crimson Guard members. I'm thinking. I'm trying to look at the uh, the the the, uh, the masks, and uh, actually, it's uh, no. They're crimson. They're bats. Those are crimson bats trying to come at him. And uh, yeah, that's right. I, I, all I had to do was look below. And uh, going down the heat, he jump. He leaps down the stairs and kicks off the head off of a bat. And obviously, it's a bat because it's got the pincer on its left arm. He ducks. He runs. He's smashing his way through other bats, breaks out the window and uh, lands in a convertible. And he is off to the races. Okay, we've got our boy Chuckles. <laughs> we've got Chuckles outside of the uh, his packaging, and uh, now we can show you what uh, was going down. By the way, speaking of that packaging, I just got through saying that Eternal was book style. Well, it's also the same uh, configuration that uh, the vast majority of classified series. You still have to get to. Uh, your figures and accessories either through the top or the bottom even though this does have the uh, the book style you know flap that you can open up to see what's going on that shows that story and everything anyway we've got chuckles right here and uh, you know how I like to do I've got him more or less uh, fully equipped to see uh, you know how much of all of his loadout he can maintain on his person and for the most part he's got everything the things that he doesn't have uh, that um, could probably go on his person but I wouldn't advise it because it is made out of plastic I'm talking about he comes with a set of uh, handcuffs now uh, you could probably put them inside his belt but they would have to flap over and then you would stress out the plastic. So once again, I would not advise uh, putting that in there. He also comes with a broken set of those handcuffs. I've got uh, one set, uh, one bracelet, we'll call it, on his right hand. We'll see that in a moment. And it comes with another one right here. And uh, the reason I only have one is because for my story, he was uh, handcuffed to some inanimate object and he managed to break free. So that's why he's only uh, rocking one bracelet there. He also comes with, this is cool, right here. He comes with a set of fists, but they're not just fists. They're... If you can see, let me see if I can get this to, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's looking like it, there we go, that's a lot better right there. They've got uh, knuckle busters on there, get you tightened up. 
I'm from NYC. We used to call these brass knuckles back in the day. So pretty cool. They are painted brass colored. So that's going to be uh, pretty good. This comes in handy for when he's uh, trying to punch out bats for sure. And finally, the Feast Day Resistance, what we saw on the uh, the cover of the packaging, which he's standing in front of he comes with an additional head sculpt and this is the uh, the head sculpt where he gets I get it because I'm killing my own light here where he gets tightened up a bit as you could see so pretty nice he really did he he worked he worked for those files that is for sure but uh, those are the other accessories that chuckles comes with everything else he's carrying on his person so uh, you know how we do here with uh, our GI reviews. We uh, start off loaded out and then we strip him down. That's how it goes down. So uh, I'm going to get him on the uh, rotating base so you can at least see him 360 on what he's working with. Here's Chuckles on the rotating base. Like I said, give him your 360 degree look at him. And uh, as I stated, he is, uh, with the exception of those... Uh, those uh, bracelets, the handcuffs, he has uh, possession of everything on his person. You could actually put the uh, handcuffs in the briefcase if you wanted to because it opens up. I'll show you that momentarily. But you see he's got um, his shades on. He's got his headset. He's got his... Uh, He's got his wreath. I don't. I forget what you call those when you were chilling in Hawaii at a luau. Uh, he's got his uh, sidearm holstered, and that uh, that chest holster is removable. It's loose. He's uh, when he turns around, you'll be able to see he's got uh, some type of control device as well as his binos, his binoculars that can attach to his belt on his right leg his right thigh he's got his uh knife sheathed and uh like i said on his right arm there on his wrist he's got one of the uh, broken bracelets in that right hand he's got the files that he worked so hard for and in his left hand he's got the briefcase and he actually has a watch that is loose so you can technically consider that an accessory if you wanted to because uh, one thing I could tell you is um, you're not going to really be able to get the other bracelet uh, on there with that watch so the watch is removable so you can achieve that if you desired so uh, you see what we got going on let's get him off the base and then strip our boy down all right here we are we've got our boy chuck up close and uh we'll begin our quote unquote strip down of his accessories with his shades first so there you have it right there i'm killing it in the light i apologize but there it is. There it is. I'm, I'll get it together, guys. Bear with me. So there are the shades. He also has, we'll remove his headset so you can see what that looks like. And once again, try to get that in there. So you see what's going on with the, his headset. Pretty cool. Now, I don't know if that's for him chilling on the beach or if that's his uh, listening device. Then uh, next up, we'll take off the, uh, the uh, Luau Reef, which uh, you can get it all over his head. Uh, it fits tightly that way, but you can get it and you can see what we're going on. What's going on with that right there, just uh, molded in like this uh, mauve color there that's right i said it mauve then uh we'll um the uh the files the uh the the oh so famous files you see it's right there pretty cool pretty cool he's got his bracelet on but i'm not going to take that off because i showed you the other one he's got his uh holstered weapon if I can get that out without disturbing anything you know what let me do that last because I'm going to turn him to the rear and you see he's got his uh, 
binos there. The reason I'm doing that first is because the binos uh, tend to come off uh, just because it fits loosely in that clip that they give you. So, but here's what they look like, just molded in a uh, flat black, as you can see right there. And he also comes with uh, this that uh, ports into that hole you see there on his uh, left side. And uh, let me uh, put this in the hand properly so you can at least see the the unit. And uh, it's molded in a flat black, and it's just it's got silver paint on there. So, uh, yeah, that's some sort of control pad thing. While I've got him to the rear, I'll pull out his uh, knife, which is sheathed on his right thigh. And you see that it's molded in black, but it's, uh, the uh, blade itself is uh, painted silver. You see that it's serrated. Pretty cool. And uh, now we'll get to the front because it'll be easier to uh, pull the weapon out without worrying about things falling all over the place. Because that weapon does fit in tight, which is cool. And uh, let's see, he may want to fall down, but yeah, it looks like, uh, I don't know. I don't know my weapons, but I would assume that that's a Desert Eagle. You guys that are weaponsmiths, you can let me know in the comments below what this is. So then you have that, and like I said, the, uh, the, uh, the holster fits loosely so you could remove that if you so desired and then lastly technically lastly we have let me move Chuck back a little bit we've got the uh, the briefcase and uh, it's got some uh, texture and it's got uh, it's been damaged you see the paint there showing uh, tears in the uh, leather on both sides there and as I stated it does open up See if I get get it to do that right now. It does open up and there is nothing in it. But if you so desire, you could put all of his stuff in there. I'll put the uh, the files in there for now. And it snaps right back in place. So then that's what you got. And then he has his wristwatch, which came on him, but it is loose. And so I'm classifying it also as a... Uh, uh, an accessory with an asterisk on it because like I said if you want to put in uh, either this uh, other handcuff broken or the uh, the dual ones you're going to have to remove that that uh, watch because they both won't go around that wrist at all so keep that in mind so uh, that's what we got going on now we can do the articulation his head is on a dumbbell as well as his neck so he can get you all kinds of movement there. So that's cool. He can T-pose with his arms. And of course they can 360. He's got butterflies. So he can get, the, get that one. He can rear back that far. And he can get them tucked in that close as you can see. He's got bicep swivel right there at uh, mid uh, short sleeve. He does have uh, double jointed painless elbows. And uh, he has an ab crunch that he can go forward nicely. He can go back pretty well. And then he's got a waist swivel. So he's got that. Legs. He can do the splits that far. And, uh, of course, the drop-downs, you know what time it is with Classified, always good. He can uh, do a 90 kick and go back pretty decently. He's got the thigh cut. He's got double-jointed pinned, pinned knees. I'm trying to figure out where I've seen this lower half before. I want to say, I want to say Stalker, but it may not be Stalker. I don't know who. But it's somebody that's uh, rocking uh, the, uh, the, it's, it's, I don't know who, but uh, I can't figure out who it is right now, who, who, uh, whose lower half chuckles is rocking, but it definitely isn't uh, in rhythm because they're pinned. So, you know, it's an older buck. He's got the um, boot swivel right there at the top of the boot. He can point his toe that far forward. 
that far up, not too far up, unfortunately. He does have ankle pivot and holds at the bottom of his feet. So he's uh, got all of the uh, articulation you expect from a classified G.I. Joe. Here's our man, Mr. Provost. Oh, and by the way, his name is Philip Provost. Philip Chuckles Provost, for those that don't know. Uh, here he is with the beat up head and uh, rocking the uh, rocking the tune uppers, the uh, brass knuckles. Oh, and uh, I failed to mention these uh, these hands are uh, the horizontal uh, wrist hinges, and uh, his left trigger finger hand is uh, also horizontal. His right is the vertical hinge. For a uh, scene to show you guys, here's Chuckles duking it out with a crimson bat. And here is the uh, the uh, crux of the story right there. Chuckles has uh, gotten the files that he was uh, after, and uh, he couldn't get them cleanly, so he's trying to bounce. You see that the uh, Crimson Twins and Baroness, they're not too happy. They're trying to, uh, uh, well dual thing recover their files and take out chuckles so that's how we're going to end this uh, particular review with this scene right here uh this is what uh both the crimson strike team and philip chuckles provost uh mean uh this is what they were meant for this right here which is sin and i think this is great you know there's no way i'm going to uh not have this on some type of display um, and you know there's going to be bats and uh, vipers and guards crimson all of course uh, coming in and maybe if uh, I, when I finally get the uh, the alley vipers the crimson alley vipers I'll uh, they'll they'll get thrown in there as well I'll figure out a nice uh, display for all of them what do you guys think about uh, chuckles and uh, Combining that with the Crimson Strike Team uh, PulseCon exclusive three pack, like how we've got here. What do you think about that? Leave that in the comments below. Give a thumbs up to the video if you will. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And of course, if you want to be notified the next time I upload another video, please do so down below. And uh, you will be so notified. So uh, once again, on behalf of Philip Chuckles, Provost, and yeah, the Crimson Strike team, this has been GI Reviews, guys. The Ruckus. Thanks again. I'll talk to you later. Peace.